Hey guys, welcome back to Joanne's Learning Hub. This is the second video in the series How to get an A star for the practical examinations of IGCSE ICT 0417. In this video, I'll be focusing on presentations by using the software MS PowerPoint. Before we begin, please do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So let's get started. Microsoft PowerPoint is a presentation software that allows you to create presentations. So what exactly is a presentation? A presentation is a series of slides that is used to give information to audience for a certain purpose. For example, your Cambridge supervisor may give, give a presentation to you and your parents about the variety of subjects offered in the course. PowerPoints are also used in large organizations for creating business presentations. To add on, consistency is the key of your presentation. You must remember to make your presentation well structured and well organized as well. We can create a blank new presentation by going to file, then click on new and click on blank presentation. So we get a whole new blank presentation to work on. Else, we, if we have to import an existing text file, we go to file, then open, then we click on browse and then locate to the folder in which your text file is stored and then select your relevant text file and press OK. So for now, I'll be using a sample from the IGCSE ICT Specimen 2023 Paper 2. So I'll go to my desktop, then SP02 About. Make sure this is selected to all files instead of all PowerPoint presentations as you may not get all the files. So click on all files and then select your relevant text file. Then click open. So it will import the text file as a presentation. After we have imported our text file as a presentation, we may have to edit the master slide to ensure that each slide has a consistent theme. So to do this, we go to view tab and then click on slide master. So the master slide view opens up and you must make sure you scroll to the top and select the primary master slide besides which there is a one. So you must do all your editing on the primary master slide. Now if we need to insert like your name, center number, candidate number, the date or slide numbers, we go to insert and then click on header footer. You can put a check on date and time. You can check um, slide number and as footer I'll put name a random center number maybe a b one two three and then candidate number again it's random so zero 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 then we click on apply to all now if you want you can um, or as stated in the question uh, you can move the slide number up here and then resize it as well. You can also add shapes, maybe a line. With a certain color and thickness. You can also add logos, text, shapes, um, maybe even edit the bullets or even the background color so maybe I want to change the background color to um, a light yellow then so to again go outside the master view and return to normal view you can just um, make sure it's in slide master and cl click close master view so you return back to the normal view. You can see the number is here. 
slide number then your name center number candidate number as well as the date we can insert a new slide by clicking on home tab then click on the drop down menu on new slide and then you are offered with a variety of layouts like the title and content the section header the comparison or the blank slide you can choose between any of them you may also be asked to move or delete a slide now for example we want to move slide number 4 to slide number 2 you click it and then you drag it just below slide 1 so it becomes slide number 2 and supposing you want to delete this slide you right click it and then click delete and that's how we delete the slide now you may be asked to insert and edit objects on a slide this can include text for example the headings the subheadings and even the bulleted lists um, for example if i want to change the style or the font style of this heading tawara yacht brokers so we go to home then we can probably change it to atl may be arial black you may be asked to change a bulleted list to a numbered list so you select the list and then in the home tab the paragraph click on numbered list so it can be either 1 2 3 or abc so i'll choose 1 2 3 you may also be asked to import images which is already stored in the folder so insert then pictures this device and then i'll be choosing sp02 yacht and then insert and as stated in the question you can edit the image you can either crop it change its size rotate it flip it so maybe i'll flip it horizontally you can add a the alt text as well so you can make sure your alt text is suitable based on the image shown so this is a yacht now another common question is to create charts so you may be provided with an external csv file which you need to open using excel um and then create a relevant chart it can be a vertical or a horizontal bar chart it can even be a pie chart or a line graph so if i go to the sales slide and the question tells me to create a vertical bar chart to compare the sales of yachts by size for only the year 2021 so i go to the csv file which i have opened using excel so i can see that we have the years from 2016 to 2021 and i only want for the year 2021 so i'll choose the data over here from b8 to f8 then i click on insert and then since it's a vertical bar chart i near the 2d column area click on the 2d bar chart so then we click on this plus so we want our axis titles we do have a chart title we also want data labels now the x axis is called the category axis while the y axis is called the value axis so in the value axis suppose i want to change it to number sold and on the category axis i need to change it to yacht lengths chart title which is 
most likely to be stated in the question so that's maybe super So I have chosen to um, show data labels and if the question states specifically do not display a legend make sure this box remains unchecked. You can change the color maybe to orange and then copy the chart, go to powerpoint then Size the text and paste it. You can increase its size. And yes, that's how we create uh, charts using an external CSV file and then bring it into the PowerPoint presentation. So we can add presenter notes within our presentation. Simply click um, notes over here. And then you will get the option to add notes. So this is the notes that's only visible to you when you do a slideshow. So you can speak reading the notes, but your audience will not have to see it. Next up is um, adding transitions between slides and adding consistent animation effects on your text or images and other objects. So now transitions is a word that solely uh, relates to your slides of the presentation. So for example, we want uh, the transition of random bars. So it's how you, the slide will begin. And then you can have the option of apply to all. Now animation is what you add to the elements within your slide. So it can be the text. So if I select the text, maybe it can appear. Then I'll add to the image. Maybe a wheel. And that's the animation. And then we must try to make both the transition and animation of uh, the slide and the elements within your uh, slide and presentation consistent. Now how do we hide slides within a presentation? That's easy. You right click on the slide and then we have the option of hide slide. So it will be hidden. So you can see it but when you, for example, do a slideshow, it won't be seen. So we can see that it did not uh, show the slide of our services because it was hidden. Now, if we want, we can add hyperlinks as well. Uh, so hyperlink basically links different things so you can uh, link text or objects to a slide within a presentation an external file or even an email address so suppose i want to select this then you have the right click and then you have the option of link so you add insert link so there's an existing file or web page placed in this document, create a new document or an email address. So for now, we'll be choosing place in this document mm, and choose sales and then click OK. So you can see the text has become blue with an underline. So I press control plus click to follow the link. So control plus click. So it takes me to the sales slide where I linked it. Last but not the least, 
The question may require you to print the presentation in a variety of layouts. So to print the presentation, we go to file, then click on print. And then uh, we have the option of full page slides. So by default, it's on full page slides, which means that um, one slide per page. You can even choose it to your notes pages to show um, the notes you have written for each slide. So I'd written ABC for the slide of our staff. So that's what it's showing. Then we can even make it in the form of six slides in horizontal, which shows the slide number as well. So these are all handouts. So either one slide per page, two slides, three slides, four slides, six slides or nine slides. So that's wholly dependent on the question. So we've covered most of the important topics you need for making presentations. I do hope you found this video helpful. Next up in the series is how to get an A star in MS Access. Till then, happy learning.